Are you number 54 from lot 6? Yeah. Excellent. I have a name, you know. Which is irrelevant. You're an engine who's been given a mission. Help our allies move troops and munitions around. Which is a dangerous task. Are you up for the challenge number 54? Yes, sir. Good. How's it looking? Worse than we thought. Middle big end has completely shattered and the middle cylinder has likewise taken some damage. We've also noted that there might be a potential leak in the boiler. I see. How long are repairs going to take? Given the current global crisis, it might take a little longer than desired. How long, exactly? Well, at least four to five months. Hmm, not favorable. We do need Henry with the new workload. I'll have to look for some help. Are you talking of replacement, sir? No indeed, Henry. Just assistance. Since your reliability is a bit on edge, we need to make sure that we can at least keep up, especially given the new workload we're going to get. I understand, sir. I think Merlin will appreciate that. Merlin, you're a very capable goods engine. I think you've proved all the skeptics wrong. However, with Henry out of action for some time, it just won't work with you alone. I would imagine, sir. I suppose that means we'll be getting another goods engine to help out. Indeed we will. That new engine will be arriving in a couple of days. He won't need that much introduction, since his record is packed with experience. That's good to know. Such an engine is going to be a wonderful addition. I think so too, Merlin. Hello, my friend. You must be the new one. I'm Merlin. What's your name? Uh, hello. I'm Jeffrey. Is something wrong? No, no, no. All good. Very well. <clears throat> Hope you had a good trip here. It, it was fine. Very good. <laughs> anyway, since you don't quite know the route yet, we are to double head a good train so you can learn it. O okay. What? Oh, uh, nothing. I see. So like I said, we're heading to Crovin's Gate. It's a bit of a distance away from here, but it's a beautiful trip nonetheless. We'll soon be passing through the tunnel. What? Whoa, Jeffrey, what are you doing? Stop, stop. What's the matter, Jeffrey? Are they gone? Are who gone? What? Jeffrey, the Germans were never here. Oh, um, okay. S sorry about that. That's all right. I suppose we just get moving again. Well, we're here now. Good. So the plan now is that I'm to head to Barrow to pick up another goods train, while you're to take one back to Knapford. It's the same way we came. Y yeah, I'll I'll do that. Jeffrey, are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Yes. I'm fine. If you say so.
Have we heard back from number 87546? Yes, we have. And? <sighs> I'm sorry, Jeffrey, but he didn't make it. What? German saboteurs placed landmines along the track, and number 87546 unfortunately ran over them. Nobody on his train survived. Hello, Tyler. Ah, hello, Merlin. How's your day been? Pretty good. I've shown that new engine around. He arrived today, didn't he? What kind of a chap is he? To be honest, I don't know. What do you mean? Well, he talks very nervously, and also had some kind of freak out by Lower Napford Tunnel. Odd. What class is he? Uh, I can't quite remember. Something along the lines of... R.O.D. or something like that? R.O.D.? Is this wheel arrangement 280? Yes. Oh, he must be one of those engines that served in the war. The war? <gasps> Merlin, what's wrong? I think I know why he had his freak out. Not again. No. No. Jeffrey? How's it looking? He suffered a freak out, causing him to go into a shock. It's likely caused by the reported trauma he experienced during the Great War. That would make a lot of sense. What are we to do now? He's to have some time mostly for himself. However, we do suggest that you have someone by his side that can talk to him. Very well. I'll have Edward come and stay by him. How long does a recovery usually take? Well, a recovery from a shock usually takes around a week to come over. But the trauma is likely to stick around for a very long time. I see. We'll do our best. I'll go arrange for Edward to be temporarily relocated here. <laughs> Jeffrey? I... I need... I need help. Calm down, Jeffrey. We're here for you. I... I need... I need... Yes? I... need... <whistles> Percy. <gasps> Jeffrey? I know that whistle. It it can't be. P Percy, you you're alive. Jeffrey? Oh, Lee, I was not expecting to see you again. Me, me, me neither. How, how did you survive? Y your base got blown up. Well, yes, it did, but... Alright, pause. I feel like I'm missing out on something. How do you two know each other? We were stationed at the same base during our time in France. Our time? Well, when we both were in France during the Great War. What? Percy, you served in the Great War? Yes, haven't I told you that? Not me. I didn't know that at all. Oh. Awkward. Anyway, you said something about your base being blown up. Well, me and Jeffrey were at first assigned to the same base. At first we were the only non-faces vehicles there, but we were later joined by another one. 
87546. Did that engine have a name or just a number? Just a number, but we nicknamed him Blue, because that was the color of his paint. We served together at the base for a couple of months, until me and Blue were transferred to another base. I was left behind, because I was of good use to the surrounding terrain. Me and Blue served at the other base for a little bit until... Well, until Blue was blown up by German landmines placed by saboteurs. Oh, that's horrible. Until he what? What do you mean what? What do you mean what do you mean what? Blue didn't die because of German landmines. Have you lost your memory or what? What? No. I remember the day when I was told as clearly as ever. Were you seriously told he died because of German landmines? Yes. Huh? Alright, this just got even more awkward. How? Because that's not how he died. What? How did he die then? Well, it's actually way more heroic than your story. Go on. Well, to give you more context, we were attacked by the Germans. You were? Yep, barely weeks after leaving the old base. We had just had a major delivery of bombs and ammo, and the Germans knew about this. How? Because, unbeknownst to us, there were two German spies among our crew. They had been sending back information to German generals, especially when we were getting new ammunitions. They were caught, however by that time, an attack against us was just moments away. Luckily, we had been organizing our troops that morning, so we weren't completely unprepared. However, lots of our ammunition was standing in loaded gunpowder vents dead open in the yard. Blue knew this, so he decided against orders from the higher-ups to collect as many vents as possible and drag them as far away from our base. Unfortunately, he was spotted by a German fighter plane, and since he was loaded to the max with explosives, he didn't stand a chance. We were able to defend off the attack, and when we learned about Blue's efforts, we were very impressed by them but also saddened given he had to sacrifice himself. I can imagine. I wonder why I wasn't told that story. I think it's because, like I said, it was against orders. Perhaps your higher-ups didn't want engines at your base to get the ideas like that. Oh yeah? And traumatize an engine by saying his friend had just died? Well, that's war, Jeffrey. I know. Still, Blue died a hero. I can live with that. That's good to hear. That's how I was able to live with it for all this time. Well, Percy, I guess you just shortened my stay here by at least a week. Would it have been bad if it was a week? Well, we're slightly struggling on our branch. I see. Well, in that case, glad I could help. We need some more time together, Percy, in order to catch up. I've dearly missed you. Likewise, Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey, I heard about everything that has been going on, and I must say, considering you're out so early, I can only applaud your bravery. Haven't you had any kind of freakout since? Well, I did have two, but I was able to fight back at them, eventually overcoming them. Haven't had any since. I can only admire such strength. Welcome to the railway, Jeffrey. You'll be a good addition. Thank you, Merlin. I think I finally got a home where I feel safe.